Good evening. This is the Photopuncture and Light Therapy Education Series. We call Always Shine Your Light. It's a weekly webinar that we host. My name is Kay Aubrey Shemaine. I'm the owner and director of Grand Adventures Ranch, a holistic equine wellness center in Sonoida, Arizona. Tonight we're going to be talking about using light and light therapy to melt ring bone. And I'm using that term melt specifically because what we found is that when we use this protocol, it literally turns to jelly. It gets very hot, turns to jelly, and the body can carry it away. So first, what is ring bone? Ring bone is the osteoarthritis or calcification of the pastern and coffin joints in horses. It can be extremely painful and it's there for a reason. The body doesn't really make any mistakes. It's laying this calcium down because there's too much play in the joint or because the joint is inflamed. So we have two kinds of ring bone. We have high ring bone and low ring bone. And technically, even ring bone could happen up in the knees. It's simply calcification of the joint. But in horses, we most often see it down here in the, quote, ankle of the horse. Now, it happens for a reason. And there's probably as many causes for ring bone as there are people's opinions for the causes. But usually, it's because the joint has been overstretched or improperly used because the shoe is, the foot has been forced into the wrong shape by shoes or they have an extra couple hundred pounds on their back and they have to be stopping and spinning and torquing the leg, or they're landing from jumping, or even more often, high protein diets with not enough mineralization can cause a really high acid level in the body. And so the, it also causes the body to overreact and lay down calcification. So being overly acidic means the body can't heal itself from the fast stops and turns or the, the, uh, the different damage that's done to that joint and the body stabilizes it by laying down more bone. Now what we've always found for any problem, the best approach is three-pronged. We cleanse, nourish, and balance the body. Okay, so given if we can do everything we want, given everything possible, we're going to start with cleansing the body, okay? Helping to clean out the organs of elimination, helping the kidney to function better because the kidney balances the pH of the body. So maybe raw apple cider vinegar in the drinking water or cleansing items like zeolite, Vivo Zeo Complete, or Dynamite Excel. Those help to alkalize the body and keep those organs of elimination working well. Then we make sure we nourish the body. A major part of arthritis being part of being too acidic. Well, maybe they're getting too much protein, uh, you know, a high acid diet. So what we're gonna do is look for a, an alkalizing uh, anti-inflammatory diet. So grass haze, very little grain, if any. Lots of good, healthy fats. Um, and most importantly, really highly available, accessible minerals. We give four different free choice minerals to all of our horses and a daily vitamin mineral supplement, but those minerals are key in helping the body to balance pH and also to put down proper bone health, proper density, as opposed to just stabilizing a joint. If they need more calories, that diet gives them We'll up the calories with maybe Timothy pellets over uh, uh, Bermuda grass. And we'll add coconut oil or um, copra, which is shredded coconut meat. And that can help without all of the acid effects of the grain. Balance. Here's where the photopuncture and light therapy really come into play. Okay, you There's lots of things that come into balance for helping with ring bone. We have to stop what caused the imbalance in the first place. Proper trimming of the hooves, proper chiropractic, um, you know, balancing the body in all ways. But our particular tool is using photopuncture and light therapy to balance the body. So we scan the body to look for specific problems 
or we concentrate on balancing the equine energy points shown to be really helpful for ring bone and balancing the pH. And we'll go into those in a few minutes. So it's two separate things. We're doing photopuncture on the energy points, like doing acupuncture. And we're doing concentrated light therapy, here specifically with ankle wraps, that treat the joints that's affected. Our poster horse here is a wonderful horse named Ben. He is a large warm blood quarter horse cross who um, lives here close to us and his owner suffered a, a stroke a few years ago. And since having the stroke he really has very little use of his hands and doesn't have great balance. So he has to be belted into the saddle. He has like a seat belt for his saddle. But he loves to ride and Ben is one of those very conscientious horses that takes him out on the trail regularly. But during that time of carrying this large man, very unbalanced, and his feet had gotten quite long, he got severe ring bone in both front legs. So here he was. We actually saw him about a month before that, and they were even more inflamed. But like usual, I did a lousy job of taking pictures. So our first good picture is here on October 1st last year. And you can see that he is significantly deformed here and you can't really see it but there's a ridge here here and both legs plus he had some up under both um, ankles so you could see this from 10 15 feet away from him it was really easy but when you went in to palpate it was very very hard significant and he was limping uh, distinctly So we started, we, in addition to scanning and treating the points that we found, the owner started working with him and putting on dynamite balm, which is a, it's a petroleum-based ointment that gets worked into the joint. Any place that we find the uh, ring bone, we work the balm in, cover the entire area with plastic wrap of some sort, saran wrap, whatever, and then use the lights over that. We use the saran wrap just to keep the ankle savers clean so that they don't get all this grease down into them. And the interesting thing is that the, the more the body needs that balm, the faster it absorbs in. And we know we are making progress when the leg stays greasy for days at a time. If, uh, if there is still inflammation in an issue, it sucks it in very quickly. So the treatment time is for about 20 minutes. We leave those wraps on. Um, preferably at least once a day. This is the balm. It comes in, I think, a two ounce and a four ounce size. And a little goes a very, very long way. And here's a close up of the wraps over, um, you can see the plastic wrap sticking out the side. Now, in addition to starting this therapy, we also had her pull those shoes. And you'll see in the next one. Here he is 45 days later. This is about a month and a half. And he had, when we would go in and palpate, you could see that it had come down visibly. It had reduced quite a bit here. This is not nearly as swollen. This leg, which is not a great picture, was much better. Um, especially the lumps up, up, up on the higher joint had really reduced. And what was left was very hot and much like jelly. You could feel the heat in there. So after every session, she would also put on a cooling liniment. She'd wash his legs down, and she'd use a, a liniment like Sornomore or Absorbing, one of those, to cool the joint so that, again, the body wouldn't lay down more calcium due to the heat. Ben is now a much healthier working horse. He's still ridden all the time. And he did, you know, his lameness continued as long as we were reducing that uh, ring bone because his body had to keep rebalancing and figuring out how to balance itself without that stabilization. But he's come back to being a really useful horse. Here you can see from the front before that ring bone was jutting out significantly to the front and now he's coming straight down into the joint 
She continued this on for a number of months longer. I wouldn't say 45 means we were done. How long it takes to reverse the ring bone kind of depends on how much ring bone you have, what other things have you done to address the imbalance of the body so that you're not continuing to cause the ring bone, and how much you've changed the diet and so on so the body can rebalance more quickly. Also depends on do you do this every day. After the first month or so, Ben's owner really dropped doing it maybe two or three days a week, but she was still getting great results. And we came out about once a month and continued to do a full photopuncture scan and treatment. So going into the photopuncture scanning and treatment, it's not necessary that you have to do this to get rid of the ring bone, but I find that it helps A, take things faster, and B, keep the horse more balanced while it's going. So we start here with a couple of master points. Bladder 11, which is just there in front of the withers over the shoulder blade, that's a master point for all arthritis and bone issues in the body, whether it's a broken bone, uh, navicular bones that have been eaten away, any kind of bone issue, arthritis included, it's a master point. If you don't do anything else, massage your horse in that area to help them when they've got bone issues. And then gallbladder 25, which is right there where the ribs start to bet, turn down, right behind the rib cage, that is a master point for the kidneys. And it helps the kidneys to balance pH and that helps to lower arthritis in the body. So those two are a great starting place. And then we start treating points on the legs. There's four points, or, excuse me, well, five points, I can't count, on the front legs that particularly help with ring bone. The triple heater points up the very front of the leg, you can see triple heater one and triple heater four is there in front of the knee. Both of those are known to benefit arthritis and ring, uh, ring bone. Triple heater four especially is a great point for all forelimb pain. So if you have a horse that's limping, remember triple heater four. It's in that divot on the outside top of the knee. It's really great for forelimb pain. Down on the bottom, uh, outside of that front, um, excuse me, bottom inside of the front hoof is large intestine one. Again, another important point for arthritis and ring bone. And then our two heart points. The leg is reversed here. We're now looking at it from behind. And those heart points are directly inside the knee and above it, okay? So if you're just working right there inside the knee, you can make a lot of help with sedating pain and benefiting any kind of hoof problems, but especially the ring bone and arthritis down in those lower joints. We're also going to treat a few points on the back legs. The first ones, liver and gallbladder, those are our wood meridians. Those two meridians are very, very important for any ligament and tendon issues. So ring bone, side bone, all of that overplay in the joints. We want to help balance the, the uh, ligaments and tendons. Liver one is incredibly important for that. Gallbladder 44, sister point, both of those ting points down on the feet, really helpful. And gallbladder 39, which is just up from the hock on the, in the groove along that muscle, also really good for all severe arthritis. Um, and arthritis, a uh, ring bone is really just a, a severe form of arthritis. And the last few ones we have here, are the inside of the back leg. We have the kidney three. So that's right down in that, in that groove as you come down in the hock. Put your hand over the hock. Your thumb is gonna fall down into that divot on the inside of the leg. Spleen three is right down along the back of the tendon above the fetlock joint. And that's that same liver one point that we saw on the earlier chart. So those points help make a huge difference in uh, any kind of arthritic, uh, arthritic pain, not just ring bone, it could be hindquarters, and even though it's arthritis, ring bone is considered something in the front legs usually, not always, but anytime that you see that kind of arthritic, arthritic development, 
you can use those points. Don't worry if you don't remember them. We do have a ring bone reference chart that you can get at our photopuncture um, charts page. Not that this is the right chart, but <laughs> it's a picture of the kind of charts we have. And here's another success story of using the Cleanse Nourish Balance approach. Stetson is a horse that we started working with back in the uh, um, oh late 90s uh, or early 2000s. And uh, when our client adopted him, he'd been put out to pasture after being on the rodeo circuit. And he was a little stiff and sore, but he kept getting worse and worse. And they were dedicated to trying to correct this, so they had teeth done and chiropractic done, but he was still limping, and he, no matter what, whether they rode him or Liberty, he was limping. They had him x-rayed, they found very distinct ring bone, and this is what he looked like at that point. So they, he, the vet told him he'd never be ridden again. Just turn him out, he's going to be a pasture pony, you can't do anything about it. So they started working with us, um, specifically one of one of my students, Kate. Uh, she started detoxing him, putting him on the Dynamite Free Choice Minerals, and doing weekly photopuncture on him. As and during each photopuncture session, she also did the light therapy wraps. And he only got those once a week. The their budget was such that they couldn't buy the wraps, but she started doing this and using the balm. Within just a few months, he was completely sound. And in, in 2010, which was five years later, he was still out and sound. And today he's still being ridden. So Stetson was really one of our early, our early ring bone success stories. And since then, we've worked with many, many horses that have very similar stories. We do have a couple of specials for those people who want to do ankle wrap for uh, ring bone. The ankle wrap set is $700. We'll throw in the first tub of balm and the ring bone therapy charts for, and have it all there for $6.99. And if somebody wants to also try doing photopuncture with this with a photonic torch for those who don't already have any kind of light therapy set, we're adding in the torch and so on and even a better special so that it would be the wraps, the torch, the balm, and the therapy charts for $9.99. And those can be caught uh, purchased at our store.